Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a square column subjected to axial loading and to uniaxial bending. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a reinforced concrete square column 400 mm into 400 mm in size. The size D is given as 400 mm to carry an ultimate load of 1000 kN. The factored load PU is given in 1000 kN. We can convert that into Newton at an eccentricity of 160 mm. Use M20 grade concrete and FE 250 steel. FCK is 20 and FOE is 250. The factored movement is not given in the question. We have to find that. We can use the expression the eccentricity E is equal to MU upon PU. E and PU are given in the question. In this way for MU we will get 160 into 10 power 6 Newton millimeter. Let us assume that the effective cover D dash is equal to 40 millimeter. So for D dash upon D we will get 0 0.1. Let us open the book SP16, chart number 28, which is in the page number 113. I have selected this chart because our FOE is 250, D dash upon D is 0.1, and I am going to distribute the reinforcement equally on two sides. From the chart, we can write these two terms. In these two terms, we know all of the values. Let us apply them. We know that it is a square section. The values of B and D are same, which are 400. Now using this value, we can make a horizontal line in the chart. And using this value, we can make a vertical line in the chart. Both of the lines intersect in this point. This point is little after the curve 0.1. Since the point is not exactly 0.1, and a little after that, for P upon FCK, we can approximately take 0.106. Our FCK is 20. So for P, we will get 2.12. Now let us find the gross area. For that, we have to multiply the side with the side. So that we will get this. Now let us find the area of the steel. We know the percent 2.12. 2.12 upon 100 into the grass area, we will get the area of the steel. Then we can use a trial and error method and to find the number of the bars and diameter of the bars. I am going to use 4 numbers of 28 mm diameter bars and 2 numbers of 25 mm diameter bars. I am getting an area approximately equal to this area. So let us provide two numbers of 28 mm diameter bars and one number of 25 mm diameter bars on each of the sides. We know how to design the diameter of the lateral ties and its pitch. Let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 mm with the spacing of 300 mm. Here you can see the cross section. For these two bars, we can provide an open tie. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.